How's it going everybody? Taxus Man here. I hope you guys are having a spectacular day. If you guys would please give this video a thumbs up. If you guys do enjoy it, subscribe of course if you guys have not already. Also do them the biggest favor of all. Make sure you guys hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos and streams here on the channel. You guys can also head over to Twitch follow me there at Douglas447. Stream there at least once a week. And as always, we're going to be talking about positives and negatives, talking about Twister, the film came out in 1996. The film's about an hour and 50 minutes long. It is rated PG-13. And I just want to state the fact that I was kind of hoping to delay this video. I wanted to be able to watch it in 4K. Uh, unfortunately, the disc will not arrive until after the sequel, Twister's releases in theaters. So I just decided, you know what, I'm going to spend $4 and rent it digitally and watch it from start to finish. And I will probably make a Twister film collection. Um, apparently Twisters is not going to even technically be a sequel to Twister. So, I mean, if you've seen the trailer, it's completely new cast of characters. It doesn't have anybody like Bill Paxton or anyone from the original film. And then obviously Bill Paxton has passed away. But none of the characters from the first film are supposed to be in the sequel. So it's supposed to be like a standalone thing. Just about, you know, hunting down tornadoes for some reason. Again, still. How many tornado films could you possibly need? <laughs> um, so first thing I want to talk about is the fact that in this film, you do care about characters and their well-being. You care about them getting through the situations that they are put in. You care about... You know anything that happens to them there are things that do happen to the characters like there's a character that gets their head sliced um really open um there's a lot of death there is a lot of destruction um the tornadoes while some of them are realistic most of them of course are cgi for the sake of the actors and crew's safety the film just makes you not only terrified of the tornadoes but it just makes you respect them it's like okay let them do their thing get out of their way and have a good day <laughs> okay and i honestly think this is one of the best disaster films and one of the best action films ever um you know it does have a slow start but that's because of the fact that it's introducing you to all the different characters it's introducing you to the world it's establishing the lower it's also establishing the multiple plots you've got the plot where they're trying to get the dorothy thing into the twister so they can speed up the early warning system from 3 minutes to 15 minutes. You've got this complicated love triangle going on. You've got this rival weather team that's chasing the tornadoes trying to use their Dorothy machine. You've got the ant. And you've got, you know, the weather control system giving people information. There's so much going on in this hour and 15 long minute film so it does have a slow start but eventually it does pick up pace once you understand why everyone's doing what they're doing so be patient of that in case you're like oh this is taking forever to get things going well there's just a lot to this film it's a very complex movie and i will say that i will say for certain they don't make them like they used to okay in, in today's market in 2020 20 in 2024 a film like Twister would never be made. I mean, the fact that we're getting a sequel to this film is kind of a shock on its own. Like, I think it's just one of those things. It's like, okay, we need to make something that people will enjoy. And, you know, it, we make it for the sake of making something fun and entertaining, not to push a political message. Uh, the performances are all amazing from everybody. You know, everybody does a phenomenal job. And like I said earlier, while the film is about hunting down tornadoes, you know, to launch the Dorothy weather system, there's also a human villain. Like I said, there's this rival weather team that's chasing the tornadoes, which allows the audience to root against somebody. And I think that allows you to connect with the heroes of the story easier. If it was just a group of humans, these weather chasers, trying to get Dorothy into the tornado, I don't think people would have, you know, connected with this film as much. You know, having a, a, you know, an antagonist to root against as a human antagonist, somehow that just philosophically works. So, um, I'm going to give the film an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Have an excellent day. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream.
Bye, guys.